right, hey, what's up, guys? Um, sorry it took me so long to get back to you with another little tutorial. I've been really busy with stuff, and, you know, stuff is always important. So, this tutorial is going to be uh, basically on using the built-in loops and effects and drum kits and things like that that GarageBand has. This is going to be a really short, fast tutorial, so let's just knock this out and hopefully you guys can get in there and start creating some awesome uh, beats with this and work off of what GarageBand gives you. So, open up GarageBand, click on keyboard collection, boom, 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 blah, blah, blah. Okay, uh, we're going to type in derp de derp. <laughs> and uh, whatever, 110 beats. Okay. Oh, how you guys been? You guys been good? Good. Sounds good. All right. Open this up. My computer is, whoa, my computer is freaking out. It's kind of slow right now. All right. So um, we have this screen open right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our fancy little mouse and move it on down to the bottom right. And we're going to click on uh, this little eye icon right here. So you click that and all of a sudden your loops pop up. And what you see here is uh, on the left side you've got your genres or what it says here mood of instrument or you can go by beats, percussion, kits, drums, um, you know, bass, guitar, piano, so on and so forth. These are really self-explanatory and what this is going to do is it's going to give you a loop which is a section of music that is basically looped and repeated that you can use in a song. Now granted this is not original, it's not something you created, but it's a good start for people that really um, have a tough time making a beat or something like that. So this is really good to just get started with. So I'm gonna go up here to beats, click on it, and then down here you've got all your beats. And if you click on one, like this one, you can hear it playing. And it's basically the same with all of these, so Click this one, and you hear that. Got this. So basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through all of these, assuming you have the time to, and uh, find a beat that you think sounds good. So I already think that this club dance beat sounds good. As you can see, I favorite it over here by just clicking the box. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and drag it. Don't let go, just click and hold. And I'm going to drag it below these tracks. You see, if you try to drag it onto a software instrument track, it's not going to let you do it. So I drag it below the track. It's going to create a brand new, um, a brand new set for you. Okay. So right here we have this little drum loop. Let me play that through. Okay. Now the way we're going to loop that, like I told you in the first tutorial, go to the top right, hover your mouse over it, and you'll see the mouse changes to a little circular loop arrow. Just drag that all the way out. Of course, click and hold. And we're going to drag it on out. So now, it just plays all the way through. So now that we've got a bass beat going down, um, you can kind of add, let's see here. Let's go back up over here to the right and reset this so that we have all of these things popped up. We'll go to... Um, Huh, how about electronic? I don't know why that really fascinates me, electronic stuff. Okay, so I think that this is going to sound good with this track. So I'm going to go ahead and drag it out and uh, we'll loop it. And mind you guys that the tempo is going to be readjusted for all these loops so that they do match up, um, you know, harmoniously, essentially. So let's play this and see how this sounds. Oh yeah, all right, that sounds pretty good. So um, give GarageBand a big, you know, thank you for putting these things in. So basically, um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Just letting you guys know that you can go ahead and play around with this. Like, I'm going to click synths right here and see what else we can pull in. OK, 
Okay, so I'm going to put that one in there. And then... Okay, so we're just going to loop that to there and this to here. And the best part about this is that you can really mess around with it and see how you like it yourself. So let's see how this sounds. And there you have it, guys. So I hope that helped, gave you a little heads up on something, well, something different, something interesting that you can do with GarageBand without having to go through all the complicated steps of creating your own beat and going through, um, you know, this this uh, drum kit and trying to figure out something that sounds good. And a lot of people, I'm sure, have trouble keeping up with a metronome. So look forward to another tutorial where I give you um, some advice on trying to keep up with the metronome and making a beat. So guys, my name is Chris. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching these tutorials. And um, yeah, keep up the awesome music. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.